course, as you would expect, so many of today's front pages have pictures of William and Harry at the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue yesterday. Well, Royal Editor Russell Myers joins me now. We said yesterday it was all going to be about Diana. Mm. They did make a big effort, both of them, didn't they? Yes, they did. They did. You know, and I think that certainly this unspoken truce that we were discussing previously uh, went uh, along without a hitch and in any major hiccups. Um, and of course, I mean, it will polarise opinion. We'll come on to that later, I, I think. But um, this uh, this statue finally revealed. I mean, it's been long in the making. The boys commissioned it back in 2017. And uh, I think, um, you know, they probably did a proud yesterday. It yeah. sort of went, went without a hiccup. It was quite a, a sort of small ceremony. But um, you probably won't know the sculptor by name. His name is Ian Rank Broadley. But you will know his work because his image of the Queen is adorned on all UK and Commonwealth coins. So he's, oh, he's very, that. very well renowned, and certainly right. the boys were um, keen to work with him. Sure. And uh, and one may presume that they are very happy with it. Do you think there was any sense of a thawing, really? Because I mean, he didn't stay very long, and we understand he's back in America, which absolutely is, you know, he wants to go back and see his wife and his, his two weeks. Yeah, children. of course. I mean, just look at some of the images. They're sort of bounding down the steps. I mean, Harry They're sort smiles. of beaming. <laughs> I thought William looked a bit pensive, to be honest. Maybe sort of deep in thought. Listen, it was a very emotional, very emotional, very emotionally charged event for both of them. Yes. But uh, a very, very different event as well. You know, it was uh, talking about some of the media being banned, not uh, able to attend but the boys wanted it to be a very very close-knit event yep. and that's why there was a uh, you know just only 13 people welcome to the event. And it's a very it's a very special if you like the whole the whole thing is very special because a lot of the flowers are our favourite flowers there's a, a poem on a paving there slab. is there's, yeah there's all, you know it's not just about the statue no is it isn't I mean listen it's the sort of uh, the, the, the spiel that was put out is saying that uh, it's to represent the universality and generational impact of her work it aims to reflect her warmth elegance and energy and the boys actually chose a poem that was actually read out in the 2007 right. uh, memorial service and it's actually called a measure of a man they've changed the gender and it's uh, it's it's on the paving slab it's uh, it reads these are the units to measure the worth of this woman as a woman regardless of birth not was her station but had she a heart how did she play her god-given part oh, and lovely. i think that is it is very no, that's lovely, really poem, lovely but it tells you very, very emotional for them. Mm. It's to uh, commemorate her life and her legacy. And, uh, and I think they will feel that they have sure. completed Really that. lovely sentiments. Can I just say, I don't really like it. I'm mm. sorry. I don't know what, what you think, but I don't like the, I don't really like the outfit. I, what I do like is yeah. the strength. It's, she, you know, she looks very strong. Well, it's quite big. I mean, I was, it is I was, big. It's, it's bigger towering. than she was. It's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's one and a quarter times life right. size, and then it's on a plinth. And so it's, it's absolutely towering. I thought the boys almost look like sort of two little children looking up at it. Yeah. Listen, it will polarise opinion. And I, I, I was speaking to I just to don't. I think it does her justice. Well, really. is any, are any statues, any, are any modern statues any good? I mean, that's yeah. that's the issue. At least it's not a sort of Cristiano Ronaldo sort of statue, <gasps> that sort of monstrosity that, that we all know so, about. No, but um, it's a, it's that. from her sort of later years. They wanted to represent her, the time where she was uh, more confident in sort of her yeah. humanitarian work. Whether they have achieved that is a matter. I'm not of sure. I really don't know. I know the outfit that that was on a Christmas card, yes. wasn't it? Well, they, they think that's where it came from, and obviously. It was all about, you know, it was all about the boys. And if they're happy, then that's fine. Precisely. And maybe, do you know, it's one of those things, maybe it looks better in real life. I have to reserve judgment until I can see it for myself. But well, you can go and see it yourself from yes. today. And uh, members of the public will be able to go to the Sunken Garden to check sure. it out themselves. But of course, it will polarise opinion, whatever. Of course it will. Now, look, um, a documentary yes. on Sunday, which is really looking at William and Harry and their relationship and how, how it's changed. Well, on Sunday night, a new ITV documentary. Yeah. It's called Harry and William What what went wrong? Easy for me to say. Uh, the and it's all about the relationship breakdown. I think we've right. you know, been discussing this for so long. However, this documentary and uh, Robert Lacey appears in it, the uh, esteemed author who's written this book, Battle of Brothers, and so um, really gets to the nub of the relationship. Probably didn't break down in the few, last few months, the last few years. It goes really, really deeper than that, and we've got a clip okay. of what he had to say. I am told that while the story later became that. Harry and Meghan wished to split households. The original impetus was William, who no longer wished to have Harry and Meghan in his household. What it basically said was that for William, the monarchy 
mattered more than his brother. It's fascinating, isn't it? But it is all about duty, isn't it? And the Queen! The Queen and Princess Anne were in Edinburgh they were. for a very special reason. Yes, they were. She's always ahead of the curve of the Queen. Well, they were, she was talking about climate change. Yes. And, uh, a fantastic quote, really, saying we're going to have to change the way we do things. And, and the Queen says that I'm doing it. Exactly. We all should do it. And you've got to... Uh, and then... Quick as a flash, she was off from Edinburgh yes. and down back down to Windsor to the Royal Hall Show. I think she's got a better social life than you and me put together. Do you know what? She is astonishing. The <laughs> energy incredible. of this woman 95. is astonishing. She looks, she loves horses, doesn't yes. she? So she always looks happiest when she's either with horses, watching horses, or talking about horses, or talking about or betting on betting horses. horses. It's all of that. She's meeting uh, Angelica. Angela. Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel if I can tomorrow. Say it. Yes. Yes. Now, do oh, today, you think? Rather, do you think the Queen? And Miss Merkel will be talking about the football. Well, it's quite I hope there's a, no, it's, I hope it's there's a no sticky rose. wicket, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it will be quite awkward seeing as we had a remarkable victory <laughs> during the week. Um, but the Queen, you know, she's busier than ever. I at know. The moment, sort of up in up in Scotland, it's Windsor, like she's... and uh, and uh, meeting with Angela Merkel today. It's so, like she's she re very happy, re-energized. You yes, know, I it's quite so. it's quite remarkable. She is astonishing, and the Platinum Jubilee next year. Gonna, you know, it will this, be going this great on. thing, which I know we're going to be talking about, that she's got um, planting lots of trees, not by herself planting no. them. That would be wrong. No. But there is going to be like a, a green canopy. Plant a tree for the, for the Jubilee. Plant a tree for the Jubilee Bee. That's what we like. I like that. Thank you, Russell. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.